Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. This is the final part of chapter 2 Inequalities and Absolute Values. This is the general idea on how to solve linear absolute inequalities. First, we're going to define. If we have absolute value of x is less than a, then x is greater than negative a and or intersect with x is less than a. If we have absolute value of x is greater than a, x is less than negative a union with x is greater than a. Same goes if we have the equal sign. And we're going to use closed circle. The second step, we're going to solve and simplify our linear inequalities. Next, we're going to do operation of intersection or union with the aid of number line. And the final step, we're going to write down the answer in solution sets or interval form unless stated. Example 1, solve the following absolute inequalities. Absolute value of 2x minus 5 is greater than or equals to 9. So the first step is we're going to define. We have 2x minus 5 less than or equals to negative 9 union with 2x minus 5 greater than or equals to positive 9. Now let us solve for x and simplify. Let us bring this negative 5 to the right hand side. Then we're going to get positive 5, negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. So 2x less than or equals to negative 4, we divide both sides of our inequalities with positive 2 and we're going to get x is less than or equals to negative 2. Now for the second inequality, we have 2x minus 5 greater than or equals to 9. So we're going to do the same step which is we're going to bring this negative 5 to the right hand side where we're going to get 9 plus 5. So 9 plus 5 is 14, so 2x greater than or equal to 14. We divide both sides of our inequality with positive 2, we're going to get x is greater than or equal to 7. So the next step, we're going to draw a number line to find the solution for x less than or equal to negative 2 union with x greater than or equal to 7. So for x less than or equal to negative 2, so draw a closed circle and left side arrow. And for x greater than or equal to 7, close circle and right side arrow. So do if we do this operation of union, so both sides is the solution. So copy down these two solutions, x is less than or equal to negative 2, x is greater than or equal to 7. Combine these two solutions with the symbol of union. Put open curly bracket, x semicolon and then close curly bracket. So therefore, x is such that x is less than or equals to negative 2 union with x is greater than or equals to 7. This is the common mistake that used to happen. Did you notice the mistakes here? Let's compare with the previous solution. Once we define, we don't have to write down the absolute value symbol anymore. We write without the absolute value symbol. Absolute value of x minus 2 less than x over 2. So for the first step, we're going to define x minus 2 greater than negative x over 2 intersect with x minus 2 less than positive x over 2. Let us bring this negative x over 2 to the left hand side. We're going to get x plus x over 2. And we bring this negative 2 to the right hand side. We're going to get greater than positive 2. Let us simplify this. This x, we're going to multiply with 2 over 2 to equalize the denominator. So we're going to get 2x. So 2x plus x over 2, we're going to get 3x over 2, greater than 2. Let's get rid of this 3 over 2 by multiplying both sides with 2 over 3. 
and we're going to get x is greater than so 2 times 2 over 3 is 4 over 3 so we're done with the first part of inequality let's move on to the second part of the inequality we have x minus 2 less than x over 2 so we do the same step as previous one so we bring this x over 2 to the left hand side we're going to get x minus x over 2 less than 2 so we bring this negative 2 to the right it's become positive 2 let us simplify this one by multiplying this x with 2 over 2 so we're going to get 2x so 2x minus x here we're going to get x over 2 less than 2 so multiply both sides with 2 we're going to get x less than 4 this 2 will multiply with 2 is 4 so we're done with both of the inequalities then let us find the intersection with the aid of a number line so draw a number line x is greater than 4 over 3 then we're going to use open circle and right side arrow for x less than 4 we're going to use open circle but left side arrow so now let's find the intersections so this is where the two lines overlap so let's write down our answer in interval form therefore the solution is open interval of 4 over 3 to positive 4 this is an alternative method for the previous example so if you don't want to bring this negative x over 2 to the left hand side you also can multiply both sides with positive 2 so if you multiply x minus 2 with positive 2 you're going to get 2x minus 4 and this negative x over 2 we multiply with positive 2 we're going to get negative x so you're going to do the same for the second part of the inequality but yet you're going to get the same answer absolute value of 2x plus 1 less than or equals to 3x plus 2 so let us define first we have 2x plus 1 greater than or equals to negative 3x plus 2 intersect with 2x plus 1 less than or equals to positive 3x plus 2 if we multiply this negative with the terms inside the bracket we're going to get negative 3x minus 2 let us simplify the first inequality bring this negative 3x to the left hand side we're going to get 2x plus 3x let us bring this positive 1 to the right hand side we're going to get negative 2 minus 1 so 2x plus 3x is 5x is greater than or equals to negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Let's divide both sides with positive 5. We're going to get x is greater than or equals to negative 3 over 5. So we're done with the first inequality. Now let's carry on to the second part of inequality. We have 2x plus 1 less than or equals to 3x plus 2. We bring this 3x to the left hand side, we're going to get 2x minus 3x and we bring this positive 1 to the right hand side, we're going to get 2 minus 1. So 2x minus 3x is negative x, 2 minus 1 is 1, so negative x is less than or equal to 1. Now to make this x positive, we have to multiply or divide with negative 1. So once we do it, we have to change the symbol. So x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So now we're done with the second inequality. Let us find the intersection with the aid of number line. This negative 3 over 5 will be on the right and this negative 1 will be on the left. So if we have x greater than negative 3 over 5, we're going to use close circle and right side arrow. And we're going to do the same thing for x greater than or equals to negative 1. So let us find the intersections. Intersection is where the two lines overlap. So this is the intersections. Now let us write down our answer in solution set. Therefore, x is such that x is greater than or equals to negative 3 over 5. This is a common mistake that used to happen. So this is the number line for x greater than negative 3 over 5 and x greater than or equals to negative 1. So for the intersection, you probably think that it's always be in the middle right so you're going to write down your answer like this so this is so wrong do remember that intersections is where two lines overlap 
So this is where two lines overlap, and this is the answer. Another common mistake is for this kind of question where on the right hand side we have more than one term, we don't multiply these terms with the negative. It's supposed to be negative here. Absolute value of 5x plus 2 greater than 2x minus 1. So, as always, the first step is to define first. Then we're going to have 5x plus 2 less than negative 2x minus 1. Put a bracket in front of the negative. Union with 5x plus 2 greater than positive 2x minus 1. Let us solve the first inequalities. So let's simplify this by multiplying the negative with the terms inside the bracket. We're going to get negative 2x plus 1. So 5x plus 2 less than negative 2x plus 1. Let's bring this negative 2x to the left hand side. We're going to get 5x plus 2x. And we bring this positive 2 to the right hand side. We're going to get negative 2. So 1 minus 2. 5x plus 2x is 7x. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So 7x less than negative 1. Let's divide both sides with 7, then we're going to get x is less than negative 1 over 7. So we're done with the first inequality. So the second inequality, 5x plus 2 greater than 2x minus 1, then bring this 2x to the left hand side, then we're going to get 5x minus 2x, we bring this 2 to the right, then we're going to get negative 2, so negative 1 minus 2. 5x minus 2x is 3x, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, so 3x greater than negative 3. Let's divide both sides with 3, then we're going to get x is greater than negative 1. So we're done with the second inequality. With the aid of number line, let us find the union of our solution here. So for x less than negative 1 over 7, open circle and left side arrow for x greater than negative 1 open circle and right side arrow so union from this left side arrow to the right side arrow means that the solution is real numbers please do this exercise or click the link in the description box below for google form exercise and answer just before we end our lecture today, please revise the general idea, the example, the common mistakes, do the all exercise. And don't forget that for quadratic inequalities must show the graphical method. The final answer for inequality must always written in the form of solution sets or interval form unless stated. And for absolute value inequality, where x is outside of our absolute value, you need to check your answer. Thanks for learning. Sincerely, Teacher 1.